Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Corner. In this video, I'm gonna give you a pro tip on how to protect your comics from tape pulls. Here we go. From time to time, people ask me how I protect my collection, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys one thing that I do with tape to avoid tape pulls, and I'll show you some examples. Here is one comic in my collection that has a really nasty tape pull. This is Captain America 117, the first appearance of Falcon, and as you can see here on Captain America's shield, there's a really nasty tape pull. It looks like someone almost got this comic out of the bag and then had this really unfortunate mis mishap. This can be easily avoidable if you just follow a few of these steps. So I'm using this X-Force 35 as an example here uh, because there's already tape on it from a prior owner. And as you can see here, you're just pulling, you're opening this bag, but the tape is exposed and can ruin your comic book. I'm being overly dramatic here uh, by put, placing the tape there, but this does happen. It happened to me when I was opening up a comic book to read. So this one fortunately came off quite nicely, but that doesn't always happen. On this side, um, there was a tape pull. And this can be avoided if you can just get that tape out of the way. It took a chunk of that cover off, which is unfortunate, and that does happen. You can even see a bit of that color is left on that tape. Two examples here for books I'm going to change into Mylar are this World's Finest 169 and World's Finest 176. And as you can see, I place the 176 on the E Gerber fullback. Make sure that's kind of centered up. Then I take the E Gerber Mylites 2s. These are both standard size. Place the uh, board and book in there. Lift up that flap to avoid any kind of tearing on the cover if there's any, any pieces of the cover that are sticking up. Place the book in there. Uh, make sure that it's centered and then that book is ready for tape. For this 169, as you can see, there's a really great cover. It's got Superman, Batman changing attire and you've got Supergirl and Batgirl. This is, some people credit this as the third appearance of Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Same thing, place the comic on the board. Make sure to lift up that flap as you put it into the bag. Just avoid any kind of tearing on the cover. Place it in there, give it a good shove, make that, sure that board is at the bottom of that bag. And uh, this is how I kind of center up the book. Just give it a little tap there to make sure that it's centered up and it looks pretty good. So that one is ready for tape as well. So now both books are ready for tape. I take my blue painters tape. This is two inches in width. And the reason for that is I like more surface area. Um, you can use whatever tape you want. You can even use scotch tape. And I'm a little off camera here, but what I'm doing is folding over a flap and I'll show that good. You can see the shadow through the tape. There is a flap now. Um, there's a folded over part. So I take the E Gerber Mylites 2, uh, fold over that flap, and now I place the tape on top. Once again, I'm a little off camera here, but I'll show it again, and I'll show up here a little bit closer. There's a flap now, and I'll show you how I use that flap. Now it's time to repeat the process on this World's Finest 176. So I take the tape once again. Now see here you can see I'm folding this um, to make a flap, to make a part that will not stick to any part of the book. Um, it's sticking to itself. Once again, take the flap of the Eager Bermylites 2, place my tape on there, and you can see there's a part that sticks up, and that's that's the flap. And so here's how I utilize that. So now I want to get into this book and you can take this flap that you've created, you can pull it straight down and there's no tape on the top of that E Gerber My Light 2 flap. You can take your book in and out uh, with ease, no worries, and then when you want to replace that, you just fold that flap back over, make sure it's secured and you are set to go. No tape pulls, no problem. You guys, I really hope this video has helped you guys to save you from some heartache in the future. Avoid these nasty tape pulls. Get your books into a, a bag and board system that can really help you access your comic books when you want to, how you need to, and avoid those nasty tape pulls. If you have any questions that I can help with, or if you have a suggestion on a future video, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make that video. Also, subscribe if you're not and check out some of these older videos. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. See ya.